Hello, physics friends, and welcome to my realm. I will be your host this year, and my name is Mr. Hare. Welcome. Physics is probably my favorite thing in the world. I remember being in high school and being amazed by all the wonderful things that I did in physics. And I would go home and build them and start things on fire, and it was pretty life-changing. I know that physics isn't everybody's bag, but for some of you it is. And for most of you, I hope that you can appreciate it. I hope that throughout this year, you grow to have an appreciation for the nature of nature. Um, what I want to do today, I want to show you just a few things. I want to show you my website. It's got a lot of great things that you're going to need throughout the year. I want to show you my YouTube channel because that has a lot of great things you're going to use throughout the year. And I want to show you, I want to introduce you to um, a friend of mine. Uh, his name, I don't know his name, but I know his username. It's Veritasium. So I want to introduce you to those three things. And I want to, the fourth thing is I want to talk about science. What is science? What is it? You've probably heard it a lot of times, but if someone asks you what science is, you and I might have different answers to that. So let's get started. First stop I want to go to is my website. If you Google or if you go from Platteville High School's website and do a staff site, look at the staff website, you'll find your way here. And the first thing I want to show you is right above me. Right above me, you will find a calendar. This calendar right here has, if there's an assignment that's due, if there's um, a test coming up, I'll put that on this calendar. The second thing I want you to see is right in the corner over there. I find videos all the time. And every time, I've got a huge playlist, which you're going to see in a little bit. But anytime I load a, a video on here, it, they're cool. They're, they're fun. You should watch them. I, I promise you, they're pretty neat. Uh, down here is my seal. Over, over here, you'll see my seal. It's kind of cool. I put it, I stamp it on all sorts of stuff. Another thing is um, reminders. Like maybe you, and this may all change. By the time you're seeing this, maybe this may complete, be completely different because the internet is a very uh, dynamic place. So there's lots of fun stuff on here. Over on the side, way over here on this bar, you'll find um, the chapters. And for instance, let's just jump into the, the thermodynamics chapter, chapter 12. These are the videos that you'll watch. Um, you'll find your book. Your book is in each chapter. You'll find the online book, and the online book is the teacher's manual. So in the columns on the edges, you'll find the answers to all the questions if you're doing questions. You'll find um, a lot of times, maybe not just here, but let's go to sound. I think sound has some. It's review guides, like study guides for a test. Like when we're taking a test, you'll find a study guide, and at the very bottom, you'll find the answers. I'm a huge proponent of when I give homework, and a lot of our homework is going to be done in class. I want you to get the answers. It's important that you see the answers. Am I doing this right? And if you're not doing it right, hey, Mr. Hare, what am I doing wrong? Hey, person sitting at my desk with me who's smart, what am I doing wrong? Um, and that brings us to when you watch these videos. This video you don't need to take notes on. There's no, no, nothing I'm going to say today is going to be on the test. But if you're watching these videos and you're not, you don't have a piece of paper and you don't have a pencil in front of you, you're doing it wrong. I want you to sit at each one of these videos. And this is, this is the lecture. I will not be explaining the definitions of things in class. It's going to be done here with us right now. So I want you to be taking notes while you're watching a video about sound. And you'll see down here, there's an online printable notes page. So you, I'll hand these out to you. Or if you forget them at school, print this out. Print it out because it'll save you a lot of writing. But here, sound. I'm apparently going to define what sound is. Compression, rarefication. These are the definitions. And in class, we're going to do our work. We're going to do, I'm going to give you problems in class. And I'm going to question you in class with some difficult conceptual questions. After you watch each video, I want to know, did you, did you watch it? So at the front, I've got a bonus quiz. Underneath each 
question each video you'll see a bonus quiz and this quiz will give you a bonus point on the upcoming test if you watch this I'll give you and you gotta get an 80% or better but these questions should be right there questions you don't have to understand the material you just have to have it written down maybe it's all definition stuff these are questions that are right there if you watch videos and you take notes there's no reason you shouldn't get every one of these things right so that's kinda of my way of tracking do you watch the videos the next thing is my YouTube channel um, my YouTube channel is kinda of neat uh, you just go to YouTube and you type in Mr. Hare no spaces you'll see at the very top hopefully um, Mr. Hare and you click on Mr. Hare and then you go to the thing that is, is really neat is playlists I've created playlists for basically every chapter we're gonna go through so if there's something that in these videos they're not lectures like this these are these are videos that are cool there's something cool going on here that is pretty neat pretty neat like for instance frame frames of reference we'll click on this one camera on tip of sword GoPro on a rope matrix kung fu they they don't on the surface seem like they're science videos but they underneath so basic training refraction electricity thermal light rotational motion forces waves astronomy manufacturing energy quantum mechanics fiberglass repair uh, position velocity acceleration middle school track reflection and mirrors nuclear physics NASCAR physics the list goes on and on explore these at your will at your leisure go ahead check these out now I want to introduce you to a friend of mine his name is Veritasium he lives in Australia and he has his PhD in physics specifically with physics communication there's been a lot of people in my life who have explained and shown me the wonders of physics and he's one of them he does an incredible job and this video is pretty interesting because he asks a simple question and I'll ask you the question right now the question is can you figure out my pattern he's got a three number pattern that you have to try to figure out the pattern it, and it's very simple the first number is 2 the second number is 4 and the third number is 8 so it goes 2 4 8 and you're allowed to ask me questions to you know propose your own three number set to that fits and try to figure out the pattern so go ahead and watch this and it's it's a it it explains what science is in my opinion I really like this video I'm gonna give you guys three numbers a three number sequence and I have a rule in mind that these three numbers obey and I want you to try to figure out what that rule is but the way that you can get information is by proposing your own set of three numbers to which I will say yes that follows my rule or no it doesn't follow my rule and then you can propose what you think the rule is is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Good. So here, here are the three numbers: two, four, eight. Two, four, eight. You don't need to continue the sequence. You can propose a totally different sequence, whatever you want to propose, and I will simply say yes or no. That two, follows my rule. Two, four, eight. Sixteen, thirty-two. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Thirty-two, and sixty-four. Yeah. Uh, those also follow my rule. Okay. What's the rule? What Mul are you thinking? Uh, multiply by two. That is not my rule. What? That's not my rule. But you're allowed, you, if you want, propose three other numbers. Three, six, twelve. Three, six, six twelve. Uh -huh. Three, six, twelve uh -huh. follows my rule. Ten, twenty, forty. Ten, twenty, forty. That follows the rule. Yeah, I'm still multiplying by two. I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, know I know what you're doing. And yes, it follows my rule. But no, it's not my rule. Five, ten. Ten and twenty. Follows my rule. Hundred. Two hundred. Four hundred. Follows my rule. Five hundred, a thousand, two thousand. Follows my rule. Want, want me to keep going? But do I just keep going? You're going to tell me your rule? Or do I? <laughs> am I doing it the wrong way? Am I, am I approaching you're, you're, this the wrong way? You're totally fine, okay. but you're approaching it the way most people approach it. Like, think strategically about this. You want information. Yeah. I have information. The point of the three numbers, right, is to allow you to figure out what the rule is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you the numbers that I don't think fits the sequence and then see what you say. So I'll say two, four, seven. Fits my rule. So whatever I propose is right. So is your rule like you can propose any number? So the rule is anything we say is yes. No. Damn it. <laughs>
<laughs> but you are on the right track okay. now. Hit me with three numbers. Three, six, nine. Follows my rule. Oh, that didn't follow my rule. This is good, right? Five, ten, fifteen. That follows my rule. What? Oh. Really? Yeah. I don't believe this. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Follows the rule. What about seven, eight, nine? Follows. <laughs> yes, that follows the rule. Eight, sixteen, thirty-nine. Fits the rule. Excellent. <laughs> but we're no closer to the rule. <laughs> I want you to get to the rule. How about one. Seven, thirteen. Follows the rule. What? <laughs> Eleven, twelve, thirteen. How does this Follows make the sense? Rule. Ten, I don't nine, know how eight. to do this. Does not follow the rule. Ten, nine, eight does not. Oh, so is it all in ascending order? Booyah. Okay. Up top. Yes. First ones to is? get it. You guys nailed it. That's the rule. That's, so That's the rule. Increase numbers in increasing order. Oh. Numbers in ascending order. Oh, so much. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, fifteen, twenty-five. Doesn't matter. Any numbers in ascending order. Einstein has a quote that says that nature is subtle, but not malicious. Nature is subtle, but malicious it is not. I was inspired to make this video by the book The Black Swan by Nassim Taleb. Now, The Black Swan is a metaphor for the unknown and the unexpected. I mean, in the old world, the theory was that all swans were white. So each instance of a white swan would make you think, yeah, that theory's pretty good. But the point is, you can never prove a theory true. And in fact, when people found Australia, they realized that there were black swans. What was interesting for me was that everyone I spoke to came up with a rule very early on and then only proposed numbers that fit with that rule they were thinking. I was looking for you guys to propose a set of numbers that didn't follow your rule All right. and, and didn't no follow good. my rule. I was looking for you guys not to try to confirm what you believe. You're always asking something where you expect the answer to be yes, right? Like you're yeah. trying to get at it. Yeah. But instead you want to get the no. Past. You want to get the no because that's much more informational for you than the yes. Like if everything's no, giving a true. guess. that is true. That is really true once you say that. That is what's so important about the scientific method. We set out to disprove our theories. And it's when we can't disprove them that we say, this must be getting at something really true about our reality. So I think we should do that in all aspects of our lives. If you think that something is true, you should try as hard as you can to disprove it. Only then can you really get at the truth and not fool yourself. That's really important. We, in science, we make conjecture all the time. Like, we think this is how it works. So what we do is we try to disprove it. Like, this is gravity. So we try to disprove it, and when we can't disprove it, that means it must be getting to something. We can never prove anything right. You can never do something to prove it right because all it takes is one thing to disprove it and it's all gone. So I want you to have an open mind this year. The most important thing you can have in physics is an open mind. The second most important thing is to get, to get up off the mat after you've been knocked down. You're going to get hit. You have to have an open mind. Be willing to discuss these things with your friends. Be willing to participate in class. When I ask, what do you guys think? I want people, hands up, saying, I think this, I think this. Discussion is the most important thing because these concepts are really difficult. They seem on the surface very easy, but sometimes they're very complex. And I want you to be able to discuss them because that's what leads to having a firm grasp on it. And don't give up so easily. The biggest thing I see is that kids, they come in and they're like, ah, I'm going to do so great, I'm going to get an A. And how quickly they give up and they say, you know what, C is good enough. On that first test, eh, I didn't do so well. I, I'm No, don't. Don't give up. I don't want you to give up. Have an open mind, don't give up and have fun. This is a good class. I'm really excited to have you. Thank you, and we will continue again soon.